everybody. Thanks for joining me for another one man review. Today I'll be taking a look at the newest Al Columbia production, Amnesia. Very creepy cover here. I'm assuming that's a photo of Al Columbia. I don't know. Look, dude looks like a vampire hidden behind the bubble wrap. Strange, strange cover. Um, but Al Columbia definitely being a legend of comics whose stuff I don't really have anything by. I've seen things here and there. I wanted to get one. So when I saw this at the Partners and Things web shop, um, I had to grab a copy. This is an interesting look at uh, like storytelling in a very strange mode, which I appreciate, even though the story itself I didn't find particularly compelling. I feel like some interstitial material that's actual comics could have made this more compelling. But we're looking at this fictitious character, Francis D. Longfellow, who's uh, he, he's a writer, director, and animator who's um, producing a lot of these movies. Not all of them are directed by, by that character. Like some of them are directed by this other character, Blair Bitchwood, but they're uh, produced by Longfellow. Um, this is a Tall Toons Francis D. Longfellow production. So it's an interesting idea of just showing all of one character's creative output. So this is almost like, um, it's meant to be like a art book for this character's imaginary career is how I look at it. And so that then makes for uh, really interesting storytelling because you can come through the, the person's creative output and try and learn something about them. The only problem is, is all you're getting is like the movie poster, or like the DVD cover. The format of the book is really strange. Like this doesn't seem like movie poster format. I don't know if there are aspect ratio changes that if we go back to... Um, I don't think any of these have dates on them. It's hard to tell because sometimes the print here is intentionally blurred out these type of things here are intentionally blurred out to make it look more authentic i guess um but i'm not seeing like supposed dates on this so there there's some things in there that i feel like in terms of trying to create the narrative of a person's life having dates in there um having like this here and an essay here that explains the plot with maybe like a couple of screenshots like, I don't know, I just feel like there's more that could be done here that wouldn't even require a lot more art, maybe just a little bit more writing and design that could have rounded out the world quite a bit. There's a really good book that I've done a review of on the on this channel um, by, I forget the, the author's name off the top of my head, but it's The Life of Blue Mobley, and it's a life told through a character's creative production like this, a guy that wrote a 100 and one books or something like that and there's a cover for each book there's a synopsis of each book there's excerpts from each book and then they're connecting that also to like interviews about the character's life and you can see how what he was going through in life contributed to what he was writing about at the time this gets really close to that structure it just doesn't have the extra material so i think structurally a really interesting way to tell a story execution wise visually of course you can see it it's really awesome looking uh, but in terms of like the written content, I think it could have been a little bit richer. And then you could have had like this, this treated as like a catalog of a career. And given that that's what the book suggests to me it is trying to do, I would like to see it taken to its, its full extent. Um, so I don't know. I haven't read, like I said, I don't have any other Al Columbia stuff. If he's always kind of working in this mode, I'm not that interested in it. But as an experimenter and visually, I really like his stuff. I just maybe this is like the wrong project for me to enter into the world of Al Columbia with. I, I don't know. Um, I don't regret buying it. I just you know, like I said, I, I personally feel like I wanted something more fleshed out. Plaza by Yokoyama Yuichi. Uh, this is translated by Ryan Holmberg and is a very large for a manga. So that's a really cool feature of this book, this standard manga size. And it, it, this is just a 200 some odd page um, representation of what Yokoyama Yuichi thinks of the carnival parade. And he's just made this like relentlessly loud and rhythmic book that pushes all kinds of amazing boundaries of what comics and manga are. And we could not recommend this book more.